all that I'm going through, I'm not going to leave you. I'm not going to fall away. I'm not going to stop serving you. But it hurts so badly. God, can you just give me clarity? Wow. So when I wrote the first blog that actually worked into the book, when I laid in bed that morning, getting ready to press sin, and was trying to come up with the title for that blog, I said, well, what, what, what does all this mean? What is it? And I basically said, to finally be clear, it has only happened by the grace of God. And clarity is truly divine. Amen. Amen. And so that's how the title wow. came about. Ephesians 2 and 10, I'm going to read the Amplified Version. For we are God's own handiwork, his workmanship recreated in Christ Jesus, born anew, that we may do those good works which God predestined, that he planned beforehand for us, taking paths which he prepared ahead of time, that we should walk in them, living the good life which he prearranged and made ready for us to live. And the burden that I have, that I was dealing with in myself, and all of the things that I was living through and experiencing through, or experiencing that I wrote about, is that in God's kingdom, and I'm talking about the church, I'm talking about his set, up, set apart and consecrated people, uh, why do I see people living that life? Oh, my Lord. Why, why do I go into service after service, revival after revival, and I see spiritual Handicaps. Come on now. Mm -hmm. All right. Come on now. Come Why on is right. it that I go so many places and people are lifting their hands and they're shouting and they're screaming and they're praising God, but they're as dry as a desert on the inside? Come on, come on, come on. The word of God promises that out of our wow. belly shall flow. Oh, so what is it? What is it? Why do I go? And I'm sensitive. I'm an intercessor. You know, intercessors are sensitive. Come on, man. Come on. Man. I thank God for your life. I thank you for sparing you. I, yes. thank him. I thank him for the work that he has. There's so much more. Yeah. You do a great deal, and there's so much more that he has. I mean, what he's going to use you for. I'm so grateful for that. Um, so I, it bothered me, and I began to ask him, why do we go to these places? You can fool a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's but you right. can't fool a seer. That's um, right. Um, Come on, you tell you the truth. Fool God. That's right. right. Yeah. And so I would see people, and they do all of this acrobatics. Yeah. But I know that they're going home depressed. Right. And I know that they're going home and crying. Yes. And I said, what is it? What is it? Because you said in your word, and I'm a literal person, cursing the blessing, I guess. Because I'm one of those people. If you tell me you're going to do something, I expect you to do exactly what you And so I said, if you said in your word, you said in your word that there are prearranged paths. Absolutely. You already made that. Means, that means that there's a path, and it says in the word that it's for the good life. Yes. 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 So somewhere along the line, either that's a lie, or somebody is on another path. Absolutely. Because the life they're living doesn't feel good at all. Absolutely. Ooh. Absolutely. Well, come on now. Give me clarity. What, what is this about? Come on. You don't understand. I was suffering. I was suffering, and I felt like I was going to lose my mind. And you feel like did Jesus Christ die in vain for me? Absolutely. My God. Because he said that he came that we might have life mm. and have it more abundantly. I didn't see that. Mm. I began to pray, and I understand now that the fact that he died for us, it gives us access. Yeah. Come on. It gives us access. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'm going to give you access. Not to put it right here, but unless you take it, it doesn't give you any right. Come on, yeah. come on. Absolutely. Don't take it. He died, and on that cross, <coughs> over 2,000 years ago, we were given deliverance. Yes. 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 On that cross, yes. over 2,000 years ago, we were given healing. Yes. On that cross, over 2,000 years ago, we were given victory. Yes. yes. On that cross, over 2,000 years ago, we were given joy. Yeah. And we were good at peace. Yeah. He took 39 stripes. He was piercing his side and crowned the thorns on his head. Yeah. He was ridiculed and went to the slaughter like a sheep. Ooh, he thought it not robbery. I mean, coming from the right hand of God to take the form of a servant. Come on, And I said, God, I love Jesus enough to say I don't want you to have died in vain. Yeah. Everything you died to give me, I want it. Yeah. Everything. 
you died to give me, everything you took 39 stripes to give me, I want it. How dare I not take it? How dare you give me the precious gift of your blood and the precious gift of your life? And you set it in front of me and I not take it. And yet I murmur and complain and I act like with all of this religious rhetoric. It's a lie. Yeah. And see, when you're married to the truth, and you, when you have a conviction about living in the truth of God, yes. you don't want to lie. That's right. When you understand all that he's done, and when you get to understand all that he is, and you have a revelation of all that he has, uh, has available for us, uh, you don't want to make him look bad. That's right. See, you are the only Bible some people will ever read. Right. To a church yet, yeah. but they're looking right. at you right. and they're saying that God is real. You're right. I don't want to make you a liar. I know you're not a liar. I don't want to think you're a liar because of me. 